to speak on this very important matter. Madam Speaker, first of all, I want to thank Senator John Deritu Kinywa for bringing this very important statement to the, the floor of the Senate. I feel the pain of Senator Deritu Kinywa because this is the problem we go through every day in Elgeo Maraquet County, in Maraquet East specifically, and some parts of Maraquet uh, West, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the problem of cattle rustling and invasion and terrorism by very uh, dangerous criminals that have turned the Kerio Valley, the beautiful Kerio Valley, to be the valley of death, Madam Speaker, is something that really pricks my conscience. This is a huge, huge and serious problem that has been there. Madam Speaker, yesterday we lost two lives near Tot, near a police, a actually a GSU camp in Kerio Valley, near Kerio Valley Secondary School. The other week, Madam Speaker, we lost another two people. And we've been losing almost every week in Elgeo Maraquet County, two or three people. I feel the pain the, of Senator Kinwa and the pain of the people of Laikipia. Because the pain of the people of Laikipia is the same pain that people of Baringo in areas like Mukutani are going through, Mr. Speaker, Ma Madam Speaker. It's the same pain that people of Elgeo Maraquet are going through in places like Tot and Aror, Mr. Madam Speaker, in uh, the, the larger uh, Kerio Valley region. And I ask myself, where is the government? Madam Speaker, I can tell you, as a senator in this house, and even at a time when I was in leadership in, the, in this house, we tried our best to solve, resolve this problem. It even reached a stage where the government acknowledged to the public that they are unable to provide enough security for the people of Laikipia and the people of the larger Kerio Valley region. And what did they do? A government policy was put in place that was put long time ago in 1970s that we need police reservists who understand the terrain that these people are operating, these gangs and criminals are operating in. And as a result, Madam Speaker, I was in, uh, uh, I was in Laikipia with the Deputy President when the, uh, Madam Speaker, the reservists of Laikipia were launched. And I can tell you, uh, Senator Kenyo at that time was asking to be elected to be a senator. But we were there and the reservists were launched. We went to Baringo, and for the first time, reservists were given to the people of Baringo. We went to Kerio uh, Valley Maraquet site, and we went to West Pokot. And as a result of that, there was a little bit of silence and lull, where, I, mean, I mean, and peace, uh, Madam Speaker, when, uh, on this situation of, of, of Kate wrestling. But what happened? After the, this thing called handshake, and the new government of, of coalition government of handshake of second term, do you know what happened, Madam Speaker? The Cabinet Secretary of Interior issued a national memo that they are going to do away with the reservist. There was no policy that was uh, put in place. It was just a mere memo. I brought a statement to this house, and that statement is still pending in the security committee that was then chaired by the late Senator Haji. The question of police reservists has not been resolved, despite the fact that the people of Kerio Valley found that to be part of the solution to the problems they are going through. And then you have a regional commissioner called Mr. Natembea, who wants to be a governor in Transoia County, but makes statements that, Madam Speaker, defeats logic. Who, such a person will be whose governor? A person who announces to the Republic of Kenya that the tax have more weapons than the government of Kenya. How many billion are we spending in this country to buy weapons every year? in an account that is not even disclosed to the members of public. And then we come here and confess to the public that we are not going to provide for you security. Then why is government in place? Why do we have cabinet in place? The cabinet and the president and everybody should resign if the people of Kaja, uh, 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 like Kibia, cannot get the security they want and the people of Ilgeo Maraquet, the people of Baringo, the people of Kerio Valley. If government, government exists because citizens have donated their power to them so that they can be able to provide security. The most single important responsibility of government is providing security. And if by confession of regional commissioner, the inspector general of police, the minister of interior, the government as a whole, Ms. Madam Speaker, they are not discussing this issue, then it's a shame. The next question I ask myself, 
Why would you have, Madam Speaker, a cabinet discussing how to fight the deputy president and they have not sat one day to discuss about security of its own citizens? Why can the president go for a cabinet meeting to discuss the problems of Laikipia, of Kerio Valley? Why is he busy discussing his deputy, discussing security of his deputy? And if, as the deputy president spoke today, we have been told there is an idle 15,000 acres of land in Laikipia that the deputy president is denying, and the government led by president is saying it is his, and the deputy president has said today, donate it to, to citizens of this republic. Why don't we donate it to this grace as to go and, and, and use that 15,000 acres of land that is now not for deputy president and is not for anybody else? Madam Speaker, I really feel the pain. You don't know how it feels. You don't know how it feels to attend funerals all the time as a senator. The number of funerals have gone in Elgeo Marakwet County. I feel the pain. And you reach there, and every time as a senator, you are saying, Oh, we shall assist the children. Oh, we shall educate the children. Oh, we shall look for jobs for their children. Madam Speaker, this is shame. People are dying like rats in, in Elgeo Marakwet County, in Laikipia, in Baringo. We must get answers today and not another day. And Senator Kenya, it shouldn't just be a statement. We must make sure that Cabinet Secretary Matiangi comes before us and gives us real answers. And I want to tell you, my friend Uta. You have a privilege and honor of being a chair of a committee despite the fact that you have a minority side. Can you bite? You've pretended for all 10 years as minority side saying we will have better government. As a chair now of security committee, can you bring Matiang here and let's see if you are going to bite. Thank you. Let's